Hi everyone, welcome back to Learning Bridge. I hope you guys are doing good and staying safe. So guys, it's Wednesday and we are back again with another content of data engineering. Earlier, I was getting so many queries from different people on LinkedIn about data engineering, like what are the skills required for it, how we can make a career into it, what all things are required to become a good data engineer. In order to resolve that, I have created one video where I have discussed about all the relevant skill sets you need to become a good data engineer. You can click on info tag somewhere here or here and check out the video. So guys, we all know companies have started hiring process again and on daily basis, I used to get lots of queries regarding the interview process specifically data engineering because there are so many people who are looking forward for this domain and this profile and even some entry level freshers who have spent some good amount of time in one company and now want to make a switch. So they basically want to know the interview process like what kind of questions are being asked for data engineering role and they were asking me to create a video to share my interview experience about this data engineering profile for all the companies I have worked with. So I thought I should create this video and in this video I will share my data engineering interview experience with Paytm because I started my journey as a core data engineer with Paytm before that I was working as a software engineer. In this video I will share my interview experience of data engineer in India's one of the finest fintech company that is Paytm. Trust me guys when I was looking for my first switch I had no idea about the hiring process like where to apply, when to apply how should I create my resume and how to get the referral, how to ask someone for a referral and at that time I was having around 350-400 LinkedIn connections so my professional network even was not so good so that I could ask someone for the referral and all so it was a big challenge for me and somehow I got to know about different things and I created good profile on different job portals and I was actively looking on different companies career portal if there is any open job role for this data engineering profile or not so that kind of stuff i was doing there since i knew about paytm that it's a good product company to work with and they visited our college as well for on campus opportunities but unfortunately at that time i was not even able to clear its return now but this time when i was looking actively for job so once i visited their career page and i saw there is one open job role for this data engineering profile and I quickly applied from there and I know some of you might be thinking that does it really happen like when we apply from career portal do recruiter reach out to us or not so guys yes it happens I know it will be very challenging but if your job application is good your profile is best suitable then definitely recruiters will reach out to you even if you apply from the career portal and that's what I did and after 3-4 days I got a call from Paytm that we have shortlisted your profile for the interviews and they asked me to come for the face to face interview rounds. So next day when I went for the face to face interview rounds, there were in total 4 rounds where 2 were technical interview rounds, 1 with manager and 4th one with the HR. So let's talk about the first technical interview round. So interviewer first asked me to introduce myself and have some basic questions about my background and after that he quickly asked me that can you rate yourself in SQL out of 10 since I was not very very good at writing SQL and was not very comfortable with it so I rated myself 6 out of 10 and he started asking questions around SQL like basic joins, how it works, group by and all and then he asked me one question to solve and that question was you have two tables A and B in table A there is one column X which is having some values and having nulls as well and in the B table there is column Y it is also having some populated values and null values and the question was to join these two table based on the column X and Y and count the number of output records for all the join conditions like inner join, left join, right join and full outer join. So this question was a bit tricky because it could have two kind of answers if you are handling nulls properly with null safe join condition or if you are assuming that you do not even care about the nulls. Second question he again asked from the SQL, he given me one table which was having date of cricket scoreboard and he was asking random SQL queries to me which I had to solve for the given data set. Some of the parts I was able to solve but whatever looks bit complex to me I wasn't able to solve that properly but I was thinking I was giving some approach. 
and next he asked me to solve two coding questions since i was good at python so that's why i solved these questions using python first question was you are given an array and you need to find pairs whose sum is equals to given value x i know guys this is a very very popular question and majority of people who is watching this video might have seen this question and solved this question in the past and second question was basically to find all the anagrams in the given list of strings so it is again a very very popular question and both the questions were very simple and i was able to solve it in a very quick time and even this thing guys i mentioned in my previous video where i talked about the skill sets to become a good data engineer that you have to be good with the data structures and algorithms wherever you will apply definitely those people will ask you some basic questions of problem solving like data structures and algorithms so please be prepared for that let's talk about the second technical interview round so my second round happened with a very very senior guy first he asked me to introduce myself then he looked at my resume and asking some questions around my previous projects like what i did there what kind of data was there what kind of problem we were trying to solve in that project so you can say basically high level of project discussion was going on after that he started asking questions from the very very popular framework of big data that is apache spark he started with very basic questions like what is a spark what is rdd how driver works how spark works in cluster mode why rdds are fault tolerant what is lazy evaluation what is lineage graph difference between group by key reduce by key what is persistence caching in spark and these kind of basic questions were there then he asked me some conceptual questions of spark like if you are writing any spark application then what kind of optimizations you need to take care of and how you can basically beautifully optimize your spark application so if somebody has read all the basics and core concepts of spark then definitely he or she would know about these things that how to beautifully optimize a spark application after that he given me one data set having four five columns and given me a problem statement which i had to solve using spark code then at the end of the interview he asked me one coding question and that was you are given a singly linked list and you need to reverse it So again it was a very very popular question guys and since i practiced dsa very well that's why i was able to solve the question completely and interviewer was looking very very satisfied with the solution so that's how second round ended after clearing second round i was invited for the third round with the hiring manager so guys this round was pure managerial like there wasn't as such in depth technical discussion so there were pure behavioral and situational based question first he asked me to introduce myself and there was a good discussion about the projects i worked upon he asked me all the ins and outs of the different projects i worked upon what tech stack i used what kind of challenges i faced there what was the problem we were trying to solve these kind of good technical discussions about my project and some very very generic behavioral question like if you have a some conflict with your teammates then how did you resolve it did you ever work in strict timelines did you ever had some conflicts with your manager then how did you resolve it so some sort of behavioral and situational based questions and after that he asked me one question of designing so you can say it was some sort of system design question like i had to give a approach to design a online ticketing system like how it will work what will be its different component and how its data warehouse look like what will be the movement of data what will be the different states so such kind of questions he asked me so i was able to give 70 75% a good approach to design that online ticketing system so that was all about the third round so after that i waited around 1 hour in the office premises after that i got a call from hr that your interview feedback is positive and we would like to hire you and there it was very normal like typical hr kind of questions like my previous background future aspirations his strength and weaknesses these kind of very general questions and the most important part salary discussion so yeah we had discussion on compensation i asked few question to her like company culture roles and responsibilities promotion cycle and these kind of stuff so finally after a few weeks i got my offer letter and i joined paytm so that was all about my interview experience as a data engineer with paytm i have discussed everything i have explained everything whatever question they asked me 
I hope it will help you to prepare yourself or it will give you some idea like what general things will be asked to you in the interview process of data engineering. So if this video looks helpful to you then definitely like and share with other persons so that they could even prepare themselves for the data engineering interviews. And if you are new to the channel then definitely hit the subscribe button and press the notification icon so that you never miss an update about my latest videos. So let's meet on next Wednesday with another important topic of data engineering. Till then stay safe, stay home.